Hey everybody, I'm here to introduce testing in Dr. Racket. Tests are an important step when designing any program and they help you debug your code. In the Racket student languages, we have four main forms of tests. Check expect, check satisfied, check within, and check random. Let's first talk about check expect, which is the most commonly used. It comes in this form. The first thing that comes after the word check expect is the function call you wish to test with the data you wish to call it upon. Then comes the expected answer, hence the name check expect. Here are some examples. As you can see, we're testing addition using check expect. We have the function call with 10 and 20 and we expect 30. Similarly, we have a test for string append with hello and world and we should get back hello world. When we hit run, there should be a message at the top of the interactions window that says both tests passed. Check satisfied works similarly. However, it checks that the function output is of the right data type. It comes in this form. As you can see, it's a little different because instead of an expected answer, we have a type predicate. Using our previous examples, this is how we would rewrite our tests using check satisfied. This test is not as accurate, however, because if plus was actually defined to subtract two numbers, it would still output the right type of data even though the answer would not be correct. Next is check within. It comes in this form and is usually used on functions that output inexact numbers that start with hash i. What check within does is check whether the inexact number is within the range higher or lower than the approximate answer. So, for example, when you run square root of 45, you get this weird inexact number. Then, using check within, we can check if the square root of 45 is 0 0.1 above or 0 0.1 below 6.7 like this. We hit run and see that our test passed. If we were to try to run the same test using check expect, it wouldn't quite work. As you can see, you get an error message. Lastly, check random is used whenever you are computing random numbers using the random function. The random function takes an integer and outputs a number from 0 to that number minus 1 randomly. Check random comes in this form. What is a little more difficult about check random is that for the parts of your answer that output the random number, you must manually put in the call to random in the answer. So, for example, if we had a function that added any number to a random number between 0 and 9 and we wanted to test it, here's how we would do it. The expected answer in our check has the random function call on 10. There is no way to test functions with the call to random inside without using check random. If we try to use check expect, this is what happens. We get an error. And finally, the Racket student languages provide a handy dandy error screen when your tests don't pass. Usually there's a nice message that says your tests pass down in the interactions window, but when they don't pass, the screen shows your expected versus actual answer. For example, if we run this incorrect test, we will get this screen which shows the actual versus the expected value. Testing is super important to make sure your programs run the way you want them to. Never forget to test. With so many ways to test your programs, there are no excuses. Thanks, and until next time.